trying to learn each and every one of them as an individual so I have a better way of you know, communicating and, and, and helping them you know, understand and learn and, and see what we're trying to accomplish. Have there been some guys that you've really like seen develop and, and have really benefited maybe more than other guys during the four or five weeks? You know, all of them have had their moments. You know, Kyron's had, had moments where he, he's had, you know, some, some a great body of work that he's put together. You know, Mike Jack, when he's been out here, you know, battling through some things, he's had some moments. You know, Brendan Rice and uh, Kyle Ford have both had moments where they, they've done some great things. And then, you know, Rio has just been steady, you know, uh, with the, uh, already having a, a, a good working knowledge of the, of the scheme and what we're trying to accomplish. You know, he's been good, you know, with helping uh, coach and, and kind of tutor some of the other guys along, and, as well as being out here and making plays. With, with Brendan and, and Terrell Wenham, how have they compared to what you kind of scouted in the film and what you were expecting to get out? You know, honestly, they're a lot better than uh, what I would have initially thought. You know? You know, both of them are, you know, students in the game and are hungry to learn. Uh, Terrell is a, you know, a, a, a football book owner, so I mean, just, you know, understanding the package and then understanding the coverage, understanding, you know, from a quarterback perspective, I mean, it's something. Kyle Ford has missed a lot of games because of injuries and practices and so on, but how, how do you use him to, to get the most out of him as a, as a player? You know, Kyle, honestly, is my, one of the biggest coaching things is, is keeping him calm. I mean, he, he, he's probably, you know, the biggest critic of himself as anybody else so, uh, than anyone else could be. So, I mean, it's, it's basically been, you know, hey, you make a good play, all right, good. Forget about it, let's play the next play. You know, if something doesn't go your way, all right, it happened. We'll, we'll correct it on film. Let's play the next play. Uh, one thing that I will say that will surprise me, you know, he is a lot faster uh, for a guy his size than I would have uh, initially uh, uh, would have initially thought. I mean, you know, honestly, uh, looking at him on film, you know, it's his, 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 his straight ahead, straight line speed has to surprise me, and I think it'll be a matchup for a lot of people. Do you feel good about having Gary for this weekend? Uh, do I feel good about having him? Well, he missed practice, and then it looked like he was back today. Yeah, he was back out there today. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm sure he will be out there Saturday, so uh, I didn't really quite understand the question, but yeah. Just uh, like got banged up last week, he was back today. Yeah, I usually don't talk about injuries, so uh, that'd be one that you have to uh, catch up with Coach Wiley. But I, you know, I, would, I would anticipate that he'll be out there and look forward to seeing what he does. In terms of installing the offense, what was the hardest part for the guys who had man before they picked up the spring? I think just the amount of reps that you're going to be asked of you in practice and, and the tempo. Uh, so, I mean, I don't I don't know that it was necessarily an X and O part, an aspect of it or a particular play, but just uh, the volume of, of reps and the volume of speed and, and, and yards that you're going to work uh, on a day to day in practice. I think you had a lot of guys working inside and outside. Did you make any kind of conclusions based off that? And kind of at the end of August, do you have a better sense for who fits where? Uh, I think, we, you know, we formulated some good ideas. Uh, you know, is that set in stone? I wouldn't say that. Uh, but. You know, this has given us a, 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 a good indication of, you know, where we would like to put guys, but also it has given us a, a good opportunity to see where, hey, you know what, if need be, we can adjust and move this guy here. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been great as far as, you know, getting a hands-on evaluation with these guys. What have been your impressions of the defense so far just going up against that? You know, our defense is fast, uh, which is, you know, one thing I, I can say about the team as a whole. These guys are hungry and, 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 and eagerly ready to do things the right way and to, and to play hard. I mean, if you know, from top to bottom, our spring practices. I mean, there has there's been very few wasted days. 